the which is more fountain paper fountain paper friendly okay i think i got tripped up on your words there so which is more fountain paper friendly the quavada habana or the Lloyd Sturm 1917 so i'm assuming you're talking about which paper is more fountain pen ink friendly uh, so basically you've got the Habana and the Lloydster 1917. They're both bound journals. They're very similar to each other. Um, personally, I like the Habana paper a little better. Uh, the Lloydster is a little more absorbent. You can watch my video on the Lloydster, actually the part two of the video that I did with, on the Lloydster paper quality. I did compare it to the Habana in there. So if you, if you see that, uh, then you'll get to see a direct comparison. I'm not going to do that for you right now. Uh, but I will say that for whatever reason, I feel like Lloydsturm's quality, their paper quality, has been improving lately. Now, not that their quality was bad before necessarily. It was slightly more absorbent. wouldn't shade quite as nice. would have some bleeding issues if you were writing really heavy. Um, it was not unacceptable to me, which is why I still carried it. Uh, but it's it's been improving, uh, not with any kind of dramatic fanfare or with any kind of specific product line that they brought out that says, hey, this is better paper. But they have just kind of been improving the paper that they've been putting in their regular notebooks, which is good. Don't get me wrong. I like... I just noticed I need to turn those over. I like that uh, the paper is getting better. However, it is really confusing for you and confusing for me as a retailer when there's no indication whatsoever that the paper has improved and it just starts to come up in the notebooks. Eventually it'll transition over, but you'd be amazed at how long sometimes it takes for stuff to work all the way through the distribution chain until it gets into your hands after a change is made from the manufacturer. It might take a year, two years, depending on how quickly a retailer is turning stuff over. So. That said, uh, I do kind of wish that they would say some kind of official statement. I've even inquired with them because I've had people ask me and say, hey, I bought notebooks over multiple years and this paper is way different than it used to be. And I've asked them and just honestly haven't gotten an answer. So a little confused about that, but I will say that even if you set your expectation as to what it is in the video that I did when we started carrying Leuchtturm, I've got two videos out there, uh, about Leuchtturm that kind of one's the overview, the other one is the more of the paper review, uh, the quality. So if you check that out, that is the minimum of what you can expect with Leuchtturm. It might be better, you might get lucky. I don't know. I really can't tell you what it's going to be like because I would have to open up the shrink wrap and then actually ink it up to know what, how, how it's going to be. So it's a little frustrating in that respect, but um, even still, I would say the Habana would win out. Long drawn in answer to that question, Joseph, but 